I'm Teal Taylor, Director of Embryology for Combi Matrix, and I often get asked about the differences between fresh and frozen euploid blast transfer post pre implantation genetic screening. And I'd just like to go over some of the pros and cons with you today. For example, for the fresh, uh, typically the patient has to have a blast cyst to biopsy on day five, and then that embryo is available on day six. However, that means that not every embryo will be available to them. Only those that make blastocysts on day five will be available to them. Uh, although this is cheaper for the patient because they're not paying for an additional frozen thaw cycle, it does seem that the, this does equate to a lower pregnancy rate. During, if you were to freeze everything post uh, PGS, it seems that this does incur an additional cost. However, you will also have every single embryo available to that patient, so you could subsequently choose the best quality embryo. And this, uh, and this, this technique has shown in the literature and, and randomized controlled trials to provide the highest pregnancy rate and live birth rate when compared to fresh embryo transfer.